What if I told you PlayStation and PC players across the world were working together and enlisting to protect their brothers and sisters against the war on bugs and robots alike, all while saving the galaxy and defending Super Earth, and you could be a part of it, just so you could also be a part of this YouTube channel by eliminating that subscribe button as we are on our way to 500 subscribers. Nah, but seriously, Helldivers just came out not too long ago, and it's absolutely amazing, and you need to give it a try. So while we drop onto the battlefield to fight for democracy, why don't you sit back and relax and let's see what all the hype is about. Now, normally I'd start this video on my MatPat arc, explaining the lore so everyone is more or less on the same page, but here's the issue. Helldivers 2 is a sequel to Helldivers 1. You know shit, a game that I've never played and Helldivers 2 doesn't exactly have a story mode or make its lore understood, so I'm gonna cheat a bit and go off somebody else's work that I found on Reddit. Yeah, yeah, I know, wanna play it yourself, Starlight? How about a time limit, alright? So Flash version, a great war took place about a hundred years ago when these little bugs escaped the farms they were on and experienced a flash burst of evolution, escaping to settled planets across the galaxy, creating a problem that only you, the Helldivers, could solve, aka you and your group of friends you hope not to blow up in the process. And that aside, Helldivers is the most fun I've had in a very long time, not only due to how the game is structured, but also how it feels, because you see, it's got that PlayStation quality to it, God of War, Horizon Forbidden West, love them or hate them, they do have that quality to them that PlayStation seems to always push out, and this seems to have transferred over to Helldivers too, and as odd as it sounds, it works a bit like this. You see, in teams of either four or less, you can travel to different planets and help liberate them from either bugs or the robots, and it's not just you, it's hundreds of thousands of other players all attempting to save the exact same planet or planets at a time. See the little bar up in the corner that updates every couple seconds? Those are real players completing missions. This is where the Helldivers really drives home the idea of a community. See, there's no PvP. It's you, your fellow divers, that's it, that's all. So while you can find different communities asking for backup on different planets, being able to drop into the world and say things go south, fire an SOS beacon that pulls in random players, also playing the game at the time. Not to mention when you look to the sky or launch to a planet, all the other stratagem drops, strikes, and launches are supposedly other players calling those in. That's absolutely amazing. Not to mention, whenever you look outside and see these ships, they always seem to be in groups of four or less. It really gives you that feeling of that you are the backup coming in to assist all these other players. The game itself, though, it is a live service game. But it's the little things that I appreciate, man. Now, for your Helldiver armor, it does come in different styles. Light, medium, and heavy, with some of them having passive skills. And what I also really appreciate is just because you wear heavy armor, that doesn't mean you're going to be the best possible player. Because you see, every armor does have its pros and cons. And obviously, the heavier your armor, the slower you're going to be, especially when it comes to your stamina bar and your speed. Speed being very important. You see, the lighter the armor, the faster you move. But there is that armor ring that you also have to factor into it. Being able to kind of bounce between three different armors because you can let you can swap them out whenever you want as long as you're at the main ship. I think that's really, really cool. I personally really love being kind of in that middle with that medium armor because don't get me wrong, armor is important, but it's more important to be able to be faster than your friends. So when shit goes south, you can run away faster than they can. <laughs> now, most of these missions you touch down for are split into four main categories, at least to my understanding. Defend freedom, bug extermination, destroy automatons, and protect liberty. Not only do you have your main objective, but you also have sub objectives. Now, you don't have to complete these, but doing so not only nets you more EXP, but also gives you more points to spend in the stratagem shop and medals to use in the battle pass. That's free, mind you. By the way, that's absolutely awesome. Now, here's where I have the most fun. You see, these missions scare in difficulty. The hardest, me and my group of friends being able to play, was Suicide Mission, and oh my god, did it give us hell. See, by this time, most of us were out of ammo, being swarmed by enemies, and my Eagle Air Strike may or may not have killed my teammates more than once. However, waiting to evac, which has a timer, mind you while attempting to stand your ground while the music is just going crazy is extremely fun. Not to mention when you actually put in these stratagems, it's not like a simple button, it's an actual code you punch in. This, of course, has caused people like myself to stand in place like an idiot gotcha. while I punch in these codes, but it makes it feel so much more real. Now, while Helldivers is fun and all, there is one thing I'm going to mention, and that's the connection issues. Now, in the beginning, shit was bad. I mean, like, really bad. People could AFK the game so it would never kick them, or the servers would be so jammed packed all of the time, it was impossible to get in. Now, mind you, both of these things have been fixed, kinda, but it's still an issue I'm gonna bring up, because when you got people who made the game telling you not to buy it and instead wait, we got some problems. But overall, I'm having tons of fun, not to mention future content like Max are supposedly coming to the game, more factions to fight off. I have a feeling Helldivers is gonna be around for a very, very long time. And I gotta admit, man, the success of Helldivers does make me question future PlayStation titles going to PC. The game did very
very well. I'm curious if due to the popularity of Helldivers, the PlayStation could start sending more games to PC day one besides just multiplayer games. I can't speak for everyone, but I know I personally would buy them if they came because I'm sure many of you out there aren't going to spend $500 on a single console just for one game. But with the success of Helldivers 2 and hopefully all the future content that's supposed to come out for it, because after all, it is a live service game. These live service games only exist and continue to exist if players feel engaged enough. And what better way to do that than live content? They also said that the war effort is supposed to change depending on how the players interact with the game, which I think is really, really cool. We'll see if that is actually true going forward. But if it does turn out to be true, that's going to be really awesome. That every time you come back to this game, say every season or whatever, the game is a little bit different. But anyway, that's a different conversation altogether. But overall, I'm really glad the Helldivers is doing so well. And I genuinely am really excited to see what happens next. And I really do think this is a game you should try out. Yeah, you can play it on your own, but it's really a lot of fun when you play with friends or even do quick play. Being able to go down there with an entire team and just wreck havoc for like 20, 30 minutes is honestly really, really fun. Now, there really is just one last thing I want to get out of the way, and that is thank you all so, so much for all the support on the last video. It was the Power World Review, and it did absolutely incredible. Like, I'm still baffled at just how well it did. 4,500 of you tuned in to watch it with over 200 and what, like 260 likes on it? That is absolutely crazy, and I'm so glad you liked it. I freaked out just watching that number climb. I posted so many pictures and hit up so many people, so I'm really glad you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the support on that video. It was it was just crazy to me, and I hope you all continue to enjoy the content going forward, but realistically, that's it. I just wanted to get that thank you out of the way. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.